welcome back. We are watching uh, right now lower bracket finals. We got Luke versus Terrence, and I'm joined here by Eric George. Uh, Credit, credits at Hotmail. Credits at Hotmail. Uh, Hello, everyone. Hey. So, nice top A run for sure, but uh, unfortunately, just uh, you got sandstormed out. But, I mean, how did your second game go afterwards? The just second game uh, simply was was characterized by me not drawing an atlas okay. and that's all there is to say about yeah, that fair enough that's definitely going to be a failing of any whale in deck really uh let's take a look at these guys lists right now uh, i think we've seen both of these on stream already so no surprises here luke has a nice spicy lamb right there um reciprocide titanium ribs this is played out of nat so what do you think about this type of archetype in Nat, as opposed to, say, Max or Val? So virtually every uh, type of Anarch is on Clan Vengeance. And well, Zero. The, so there are some variations of Val that don't pl uh, play Vengeance. Yeah. I mean, th there's, so, so there's some arguments to be made about not playing it. What, what Luke's deck is doing is accelerating um, and, in fact, totally dedicating the entire deck to Clan Vengeance. Yeah. So so the, the dominant type of Val right now doesn't... It, it just has. It just happens it to have clan vengeance, but it's clan. doing all good stuff. Right. The, uh, Luke's strategy is, on the one hand, uh, delimited. However, in terms of like say being able to pressure assets, right. um, in terms of being multiple runs. In fact, uh, I don't think he will be running very much. He's simply going to load up a ton of counters yeah. as fast as possible. Zero on clan vengeance on, on the CV, yeah. and then um, how many uh, mad dashes does he have? He has one. One. Only one. Pseudo, what? yeah, so one is mm -hmm. not, I mean, two would have been, I think, perfect in his list. Uh, he said that he chose to forego the second copy of Mad Dash in favor of Severnia Stim Implant, which is not something I'm sure I agree with, but it's a, certainly a card that's worked for him in the past. Yeah, so you want some form of multi-access, that's what he chose. One thing I do like in Luke's uh, list is Peace in Our Time. Mm -hmm. Now, that's like a dubious card and uh, included in other decks, um, but in this one, which is very non-interactive, it just makes sure that you doesn't lose the tempo to anything too crazy. Mm -hmm. um, why don't we have a look over here at Terrence's list to see if there's anything uh, stand out here. The main thing to me is a double copy of Thimble Rig mm -hmm. that's allowed him to really tax a black orchestra. Right. If he just swaps it in for every redundant piece of ice, especially ice that he installed under the effect of Mti Mukundu, he gets a lot of value just knocking for three every time. Right. Uh, I like I like the spicy one of in um, in Terrence's deck. I really I'm a big believer. In the in the rando arc lockdown, me too. Especially with uh, all these anarch story conspiracies in the heap, like will no. There you go. I mean, just think of the tempo you might lose to, for example, like just um, even if you just hit one MK early on in the game, right. like you're really taxing them on the cortex lock. Mm -hmm. And uh, we've seen a lot of triple breaker anarchs. Um, Luke's on doubles. So you in know that, that, that can that can force a mistake, especially with uh, zero. If you're pounding zero, you can arc lockdown a key piece. Yep. Uh, I like the one rando lo arc lockdown. That's very useful, especially in Swiss. Uh, less so now, considering Luke will probably play around it a little bit, just because he has full information of Terex's uh, deck that's and vice versa. True. But yeah, uh, definitely the the one right. of random of arc is quite good. Right. Uh, and uh, is a big part of uh, why Terrence is right here on the cusp of entering grand finals for a match with Dean. Yeah, However, good, good for slash. both of these yeah. uh, two, uh, you know, mainstays of the Toronto meta. Really, sure. a great performance today. Luke and, and exciting decks as well. Terrence's uh, APOC deck is off the hinges. Uh, I think that's a it's a very nice and fancy deck. Yeah. So he's uh, he's doing a kind of a standard MT play here, except that he's hedging against employee strike. Uh, he's kind of just getting uh, what looks like an early Rashida down. Um, doing a piece in our time, so not threatening any servers whatsoever. Luke is also going to take some time to set up here, as mm -hmm. which I get, of course makes sense. Uh, if you were Luke, though, do you go a little bit more aggressively, or like maybe just? I, I think this deck is is very aggressive. Mm. I think uh, I think what's more dynamic here is simply Terrence knowing. I think Terrence knows exactly what Luke's up to. Yeah. I don't know. Have they faced each other already today? Uh, I don't think they have, but both of them have been able to observe each other's matches. Yeah, there's, uh, there's the no downtime. question. Yep. Uh, my sense is, is you know, MTI is a Glacier deck, but it is fast if you score the Nisei. So yep. I, and you can kind of ruin someone's day with it. Yep. We'll see how fast uh, Terrence is able to get one down, um, so if at all. 
Excellent, uh, excellent use of zero on Luke's part. Uh, Terrence hit the I've had worse off of the random net. Mm -hmm. uh, because of that, Luke is going to accelerate ahead on cards. He's going to be able to dump the first Conspiracy Breaker into Heap. We've got Black Orchestra for our code gates. That's fine. Yeah, so Terrence is also doing a little bit of that himself. He's going to uh, res and use Rashida Jahim, as expected. With his signature metal credits. Right. Those are some heavy-duty credits, for sure. Definitely not going to get chewed up by your dog. So can you see Terrence's hand? Uh, a little bit, yeah. Um, I didn't see what he installed there, unfortunately. <laughs> Looks like a Cortex log coming in, though. Did he just install Kamainu? Uh, okay, well, okay. Here, here's a scarcity hitting the table. Uh, that was a pretty good draw on his end. He can afford to leave HQ like undefended with impunity. There's not even the risk of like the random 1 in 5 here. Uh -huh. It's just perfectly safe. So Luke doesn't care. He's just going to continue on his game plan here. He's going to dig for his clan vengeance. And uh, once the clan vengeance gets going, then like Terrence's hand is not safe. And there it is. Okay. And not only clan vengeance, but the ribs as well. Oh, man. Yeah, getting both of those down early and fast is going to really dramatically change the meter of this game. Being able to, at will... Uh, choose your net damage is very useful in a deck like this. You can retain key pieces without any fear of losing any to randomness. Um, you can uh, specifically target I've Had Worse, which of course is a great tempo swing in your favor. Uh, and, and since Luke knows about the arc lockdown, he can also hedge against any kind of sloppy like uh, elimination of the breakers. True. Which might happen. Mm-hmm. Uh, regardless, however, uh, he did make Luke pay five for that clan vengeance, which is That's not true. insignificant. That's true. Yeah, what? Uh, okay. So it uh, looks like Terrence has just a bunch of econ in hand. He's going to spend, he drew a card for turn, and then he's just going to econ up here. Uh, both of these guys are flush with cash. However, Luke is going to start really threatening HQ. Uh, it's in Terrence's best interest to just jam as fast as possible. Like he, Luke is not going to fire Clan Vengeance this turn, barring something like a stim hack. Um, so he's discarding the Severnians. <laughs> yep, that's definitely wishes it was another copy of Mad Dash, probably. There's another counter. Uh, Clan Vengeance is sitting as two cards. Whenever Luke decides to pop it, it's going to rock a couple cards out of Terrence's hand for sure. This is a really good combo, and uh, if Anarch didn't need help already, like the combination <laughs> of Zero and Clan Vengeance is just a solid, interesting uh, form of Archive's pressure, uh, and also multi-access pseudo. But I, like a better I, kind of multi-access, uh, yeah. actually reprise them of cards in hand. Okay, getting the getting the Nisei on board. Advancing twice. Advancing twice. I love this play. And this is a classic out of uh, modern Jinteki, which is that you advance twice, and it, for all intents and purposes, and you really got to give them the benefit of the doubt, you and think the it's the Oba. Oh, the Obakata, yeah. Um, because and you know that it, you saw that it's a, a Nisei, in fact? Yeah, yes. So, so that's great. So th not only do you get to advance it with your first two clicks, so you can even shove something as a... You know the philotic or or just a some right. asset and keep the uh, the tempo of the game going. I really love the double advance on Nisa. Right, uh, Luke hasn't been able to find uh, his uh, hacktivist meeting, so he hasn't been able to tax the Rashida right. as well as he needs to be. Um, because Luke is not running employee strike, he also has to be worried about Red Tree just pulling in like a bunch of garbage. That's true. I don't th I don't believe there's even a copy of Liberated Account or. Daily cast in, in Luke's list is that correct? Uh, yeah, he's relying. Yeah. He's relying completely on looking at Luke's operation. List. Yeah, it's full operation. Peace in our time. Stim hack. Share gamble. Uh, inject, um, and of course zero, which is uh, uh, like a mini econ engine. In so, itself. so in a way, he is not affected by the scarcity. However, the scarcity keeps the. It does keep the. Um, the news hounds active. Mm -hmm. Which uh, is the main purpose here. Um, yeah, he does actually he has nothing whatsoever that's impacted by scarcity meeting, uh, scarcity of resources. Right. Yeah, because. But let's resources. watch. Let's watch for that arc now. So like the both uh, both paper clips are in the bin. Uh, Terrence does not have that card. I don't know if he's holding it in his hand right now. But that's just something to look out for. Like just yeah. a, just a little tempo hit like that can really change the course of the game. Yeah, it's it's a pretty big tempo hit then, right? Because if you mm -hmm. can if you can score from under the barrier. Uh, then you're feeling pretty good about yourself. This looks like uh, an I've had worse hits off of the zero, drawing four. Uh, 
putting another counter on CV. We've got five on CV, which is a full HQ's worth. The thing is, does he fire right now? He knows, he knows that it's probably fruitless. He's got another copy of... Uh, he knows it's sites. fruitless, and, and Terrence can play into that. Mm -hmm. So we go... He plays an iPad worse raw, so he pays full price for it. Uh, Terrence is allowed to draw... He's going to, at the beginning of turn, after drawing his card for turn, he's going to there use Clan Vengeance. We're going to score the Nisei with a counter on it. Uh, that's going to be pretty useful for Terrence going forward. Uh, Luke does not have another copy of CV. If he was able to charge two at a time, then this would be a different story. But because Terrence has um, rushed ahead as fair amount, then uh, Luke does have to do a bit of catching up here. He does have the Reciprocites in order to get that done. He does have the Zero in order to get that done. Um, we'll see how that goes. So Lamb hits the table. Good numbers on that. Yeah, uh, Luke, Luke spoke to me earlier about this list. This list is actually from uh, JNet. I don't know who the deck is attributed to. I think it's someone from out of England. Mm. But they had a Mammon, and he, he, he opted for the Lamb. Interesting. A Mammon, eh? I guess it's kind of serving the same purpose. It's like uh, uh, almost a guaranteed access. Mm -hmm. However, like stacking stacking barriers is still going to stop you, generally. So, so there we just blew the f Clan Vengeance and uh, to, to no effect. Yeah. So he did not score. Yeah, that was a full whiff. Uh, Terrence is going to consider rezzing. Of course, uh, MT is dead right now because <coughs> he has no cards in hand with which to install. Uh, Cortex Lock is going to make him install the MK Ultra. He's going to pay two to install it and then three to break it. Now that's interesting. Just having the Cortex on the board means that if Clan makes oh, sorry, another uh, six appearance. Six to break it, my bad. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. If Clan makes another appearance, a card like Cortex means that he can just load uh, two nets actually instead. Very quickly. Oh no, Lamb is two, two MU. So he, he chose to discard one redundant copy right, of MK right, Ultra. Right. So that's nice on his part. He's going to draw. He's going to click, uh, yep, draw again, draw again. Anything fancy last click? Yep, safe move. Cortex Lock is not a great defense, but it does does tax Luke to the point where he might consider leaving it alone for a bit. Um, this is not great because Luke has free reign over what he is going to be able to uh, lose to net damage. Um, so he lost a yeah. stim. He lost a stim hack to zero, in order to draw cards. Right. My my sense right now is Luke is a bit frustrated by not being able to recuperate a second copy of Clan. Yeah. And the first one, um, the first one didn't have much effect. The thing is, he has Levy, right? So he can go a whole, uh, a whole other round of the same thing. And this time with all the architecture, yeah. for example, the the zero, the, the titanium ribs, and a rig setup that really allows him to accelerate in the second round. The mm. question is. Is that enough to, to peel the agendas off that you need? Well, when you're uh, when you're right now looking at something like a DNA tracker, being forced to pay for it, even despite it being through a lamb, it's it's kind of expensive. Luke is getting taxed there. Um, he's playing a lot more aggressively than what we initially surmised. We thought that might he might just chill out and uh, try to go for the win during Clan Vengeance, but since he's not drawing them, he's forced to kind of make inopportune runs. Yeah, this is this is not a characteristic of the deck's strategy. I mean, he can do it, but he really doesn't have the board state that, say, a Val or Max or Freedom, mm -hmm. for that matter, might have um, in, in, in just checking for mm -hmm. single access. This is really not looking great. So I don't think he's procced Nat's ability... At all yet? Hmm. No, I, don't, I have not seen windows where it might have uh, been open. But it's really the the nat is simply there for the forty card, really, just to yeah. accelerate. So losing his single mad dash to uh, to a zero pull here. It looks like he's uh, fairly all in on this uh, clan vengeance plan. But in order to get there, he's got to draw it first. The thing is, I mean, basically now. Terrence is playing like a shaper where whatever agenda he will in fact draw is just going to shove into the remote Yeah. and where he's really going to be able to tax Luke. There's no real reason for him to, for example, to hold agendas in hand, no, which is what, where uh, Clan uh, might Clan thrive. Clan is exactly it. The other thing is Luke doesn't have, Luke doesn't have Fisk. 
Mm -hmm. And Fisk is something that would like, force the uh, the Corp to overdraw and thus be stuck with agendas in hand uh, yeah. uh, that they don't want. I just see the way that turns the setting of his board doesn't seem like that's going to happen unless he happens to double peel or yeah, this I, is I don't know what. Confident Jinteki play from Terrence. He knows mm -hmm. exactly the limitations of Luke's uh, board states as well as his deck actually. And so he's able to kind of uh, play like this with impunity without really being concerned over what Luke is up to. Uh, at the point where Luke is able to actually formulate and be the aggressor in this situation, it might be too late. He's already got a counter up. He does have turntable in hand though. So if he, if he decides to jam it and maybe get lucky on appeal, uh, off of right. R&D. Yeah. That could change the game wholeheartedly, but I don't know about yeah. that. The turntable... I mean, the, the temptation to burn a counter on any run where the, the runner might be able to actually turn something. Like, I was very lucky in my game with Dean to to score while, in fact, he had an ECA counter down. Mm -hmm. uh, and I was able to turntable it away. Uh, let's. I don't see... How effective that's going to be right now? Let's yeah. let's see what what happens with the turntable later in the game. Uh, okay, so Terrence has fast track. That's interesting, yeah, right? That's so he, like, I mean, that's something he could burn right now. Yeah. What's what's Luke going to do? He doesn't want to check that DNA tracker uh, and and pay to go check HQ. So I think uh, Terrence's money is uh, a little low for any so like I think it's something right. hyper aggressive in right. his uh, in his scoring remote. Okay. Um, I. Luke definitely has Is like that an agenda as well. Uh, yeah, he drew the Obokata protocol okay. in that Rashida draw. And so, so he's, he's icing. I, up. Okay, so I'm assuming. Okay, and he's icing the archive in anticipation of an eventual um, clan vengeance. Yes, very useful on his end. Good idea. Um, Terrence playing as conservatively as he needs in order to uh, make sure his chances don't slip away from a bad mistake here. Luke, uh, Luke has a, Luke has that next clan vengeance in. He's got the hacktivist up if he wants it. Um, really, no need for it right now. Scarcity doesn't bother him that much. Um, okay, so so here's what gets interesting is that I mean. Um, one comment that Luke made, and not many others have made, is that you you don't play Komainu in a current MTI or <laughs> or Palina because it allows uh, the the runner playing Clan to just stack up on yeah to uh, load agendas. up on vengeance. Now Luke does have options here if for that the pursuit of such a strategy. Now mm. DNA track is going to make him lose a whole bunch of cash to to take extra damage, but mm. the Cortex is. Let's see. So he has a. Uh, he doesn't want to get rid of the lamb though. He right? has two MU. Yeah. So he, uh, no, he has one MU right now. I see. Yeah. Well, he has all kinds of... Um, let's, let's put it this way. He has all kinds of avenues open to him if he wishes to self-damage. Mm. And, and Terrence is, in fact, giving those to him. Yep. So right now, Luke is uh, doing a stim hack. He's installing a uh, Black Orchestra from Heap. Uh, using the stim hack credits, he's going to access one card from hand. It's going to be the fast track. I really like that fast track. That really makes sure yeah, that... Yeah, it's a nice... Good uh, finisher for uh, when you've got your Nisei counter up mm -hmm. and you've got your three pointer scored. If if Terrence is able to score another Nisei, it'd be very difficult to for Luke to challenge any server. In fact, it may be uh, it may emerge that even on the critical archives run, and you know, there's nothing stopping uh, Terrence from making a very strong uh, archives. I mean, two pieces of advice can be can really tax the runner. Yeah, for sure. It's, it's um, going to require a stim hack or something to go get it. Yeah. So even if uh, the agendas are binned, and assuming that all of them are binned for the win, I mean, there's still the there you got, you still got to run into the archive and get it. Contend with the counter it's, it's as well. It's easier said than done. Yes, indeed. Um, also, it's assumed that it's going to be a post clan vengeance, so he might not have any uh, ice in HQ to install. But if he so doesn't, so there's the levy. Yeah. Oh, so here's the levy. He's going to go through his deck a second time yet again. Um, how many levy in this deck? Two. There's two levies. I believe okay. there are two levies. Yeah, that's a good amount. Do we to know play. How, many, how much brain damage does Luke have? So if he fired one stim, then one. Okay. Yeah, but um, that will put him at four cards in hand after the after the swing. This I think this is last. I think that's resolving. the brain counter there, right? Yeah. And uh, no, that's a die. Okay. It's just he was using it to roll earlier. But uh, let's make sure that uh, that's his credits. Yeah. Oh okay. no. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's the brain. That's okay. Is the credits here? Okay. 
Got it. Oh, yeah, there's a brain there. It's an, on top of his uh, on top of his marker. Can we see the chat at the moment? Yeah, it's just, it's just it right now. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So here we go. Fast track. So what's he gonna pull? Nisei Mark II, almost certainly. Install advance. Great play. Assuming he has the money to make the server threatening. Uh, he's he's gonna not loaded on credits, right? No, he's not, but neither is Luke. Luke is a, a poor man at the moment. Luke so, has oh, been forced into the, a very awkward strategy of just single Single, single access. accesses, yeah. And it, that has depleted his stack. He does have a copy of Peace in Our Time, but that's not going to be there. I mean, that money's not going to be there in time to go check that remote. For sure. This is a great... Uh, great it looks to be a very good scoring window for Terrence. Agreed. And with two Nisei scored, uh, he, it's really, really yeah, yeah, painful look, to looking, do anything against He's looking the pretty handsome here. Um, right now, Luke has just been struggling. He's at the point where you see Anarchs kind of going for those last points. Uh, and this is a situation, and these are the type of runs you'll see at 5.6 points very often. To do that at zero points, you're desperate at this point. Like, you, Terrence is just pulling ahead on this game. If he doesn't contest, uh, if Luke doesn't contest with like something like a stim hack, it's just going to be GG. Two counters. Even that stim hack, like, let's say, I mean, let, let's be conservative. This is eight credits. This is nine credits on Terrence's part. Like, this is nowhere near enough for him to really res anything of notes apart from like an Anansi or a DNA tracker. But even so, that's only one piece of ice. There's that stim hack coming in. Uh, first piece of ice is. Uh, oh, okay. So yeah, there's surveyor. a surveyor. Yep. So that's a strength six. Yep. So the right thing now, is <laughs> right now with lamb, still pretty expensive. Is so that's got to be baddie. Yeah, yeah. There's a uh, looks like there's nothing else on on Terrence's list that that could be. It's a uh, a baddie for sure. If there's something advanced in there. I don't think Luke is loving this right now. He really is not. It, it's uh, evident in just like uh, kind of like the lackadaisical nature of his body language <laughs> <laughs> that this is frustrating for him, as it would be for any of us in the same situation. Okay, so uh, considering MK. So that's a C string six. Yep. That's a that's a nine to MK. I. So he's in his real credits now. We've already depleted, we've already exhausted. Oh, and all. there's Batty. And oh Batty is going to fire on the trace. And yeah. why not? Why not? I mean, and then, and then if he wants to, Terrence will most likely just fire the Nisei. Yeah. Uh, the, however, this does leave Terrence unable to score the Nisei Mark II on his next turn. That's true. So we're going to play side here. It's, it's quite a bit of tempo, right? So a, a lot of is being invested on the access of this, both on, on the part of both players. Yes. Terrence is spending to to keep Luke out, and yeah, Luke is, and spending, Luke is spending a lot to get in there. Yeah. That this could put Terrence in a, on the back of his feet for a little bit. Okay, so actually Batty fires uh, nothing at all because uh, both players bid zero credits. So we're... Uh, we're going to continue on, looks like. We'll see what happens. Oh, no. So we're just resolving a, a jack out. Uh, Luke is now going to put one uh, piece in our time in his heap. Uh, he's going to put another counter on Clan Vengeance. We have three counters on Clan Vengeance so far. Why did Luke jack out? I don't know. I don't know. Like uh, At that point, Terrence's ice is not that threatening. He has full, he has full knowledge of it, Like, but uh, IP block is... Uh, not something that he really cares about. Thimble Rig might have just pushed him out. But he's broke. Yeah, he's broke. Well, he has four. Four, four is still within striking range to res two pieces of ice that might uh, keep you from getting in there. Uh, so I kind of so understand that, Jack, out, right. but yeah. So right now... Oh, nice. He's going to pitch four to Oba. And there that is, is going to load... So now we've got a game because that just loaded Clan yep. to seven counters. Yep. So oh, that, runner bid one. Oh, so runner bid one, and it was an end the run. So yeah, okay. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Clear one thousand for catching that. Uh, okay. So uh, clan is clan is fully loaded. We've got um, Terrence all pretty much unable to retain anything 
in his hand at the moment. Uh, Luke is going to clan right now, just and justly so. That's the entire hand. Wait, what do you mean he bid one? Sorry, I just I didn't catch that. So for the baddie, oh, right, uh, Luke bid one. Terrence bid zero. Okay, so uh, Terrence has six cards in hand now. Uh, there are uh, more than six counters on Clan Vengeance after that Obokata Protocol resolution. Uh, oh boy! Oh no, he's he's choosing not to fire it. Okay, so he's so going he, to install. So he might just be. Oh yeah. Oh, for for an instance of damage. Okay, thank you. I'm I'm sensing uh, Terrence, who is full of steam, is actually. Having to pause right now to yeah. catch up on the credits. Yeah, his money is not great and at this, the moment. And this, if anything, uh, this to me will be the turning point in the game. It'll it'll determine whether Luke is able to load up the clan and actually f score out, maybe even turntable a, a critical agenda. Yes, that's or true. Or if... Uh, or if Terrence is able to load up on credits again and keep Luke out of his servers. All right, so Luke is in on the Clan Vengeance plan. He's going to consider zeroing in order to uh, hit both with. Yep, he does it. He loses the Hacktivist. He fires Reciprocites. Uh, he's going to um, draw, and then he's going to get a credit, and finally load up on CV. Now he has another stim hack and another clan. Mm-hmm. That means yeah, that any... <laughs> so mean his second time through the deck post-Levy is significantly better for him than the, than the first mm -hmm. time through. Uh, at this point, he's actually well poised to keep Terrence from ever having anything relevant in hand. And with three points on the board already, all he needs is a few lucky clans in order to put this game in his, in his pocket. Okay. So injecting, hitting a paper clip. There's an, there's that copy of Mad Dash. The clip is going to the to the heap. We're going to draw these cards here. The titanium ribs is just damage buffer at this point. Uh, however, the uh, with three points, the Mad Dash becomes very good. If uh, if Luke correctly surmises that there is another and agenda, it, and it doesn't even matter if if Terence Nisei's him out, because first of all, you'll you'll just have expended the Nisei, and also it's just an extra damage that he takes. So mm -hmm. he he can do this a bit kind of wantonly. And here's there's another a, stim, a hack. stim into hand. And am I am I wrong or is this, a, this is at least a second stim hack? It feels almost like it might be the third. Uh, free brain. Yeah. Okay, so he's gonna empty a card in from HQ. Yeah, that's true. Uh, okay, so he's going to empty, but no res, it looks like. Uh, yeah, Stim, Stim and Jack. Okay, uh, just using the uh, using the, D, uh, the DNA tracker to load up his clan vengeances. Uh, and this is this is turn the game on its foot now because with those clan vengeances up, uh, Luke is in control. He is. Okay, there's a Maryland campaign that's the going to be credit neutral right now. <laughs> but if Luke doesn't deal with it, it's going to make us some money. Here's I guess. the thing. So Luke's stack is, I mean, he's really just shreds through his deck. Yes. He has three brain now. Yes. And that means, and, and Terrence still has a Nisei counter. Yes. So that means, like, let's say he is, a, oh, and here's a second Nisei. This is really interesting now. This is a really close game. Yes. So Luke doesn't even have uh, the credits necessary to really contest the Maryland and be able to do the other things he wants to do. After a zero activation, he might reassess based on what he draws here. Mm -hmm. But uh, as is, it's looking kind of dire. Here's, he's going to inject. He's going to see the piece in our time. Sure gamble. Two sure gambles. I mean, that's so that's kind of what he needs right now. He doesn't have the credits to the, really the, make it happen. But, uh, am I incorrect? But the brain damage he has inflicted upon himself is significant right now because there, it means that there are only a, a select windows where he can even steal a Bacata protocol. Ah, oh, you're right. And and, and Terrence has two Nisei counters. Also so that true. means that not only does he have to make sure that he will, in fact, score the Oba, but that... that that he he has sufficient cards in hand mm -hmm. that he knows where it is and he knows he can go after it three times. Now, yeah. ideally, that's in archives, right? Yeah, ideal, and it, that's easy to make happen given that Clan Vengeance is a that's thing. That's true. So, oh. so although I would say that Terence is in the lead here, I don't feel like that cloud of doom has yet uh, set in. For 
where where Luke is finished. Yes. Um, however, as you correctly so, observed, like so is he? He's coming he's in. Checking the archive. Yeah. There's a crick. Nice. Crick is very taxing. This is great. He can't afford it. So he's going to be able to bounce that Obakata protocol into the server, I think. There it is. Very nice play. Good, good Great tempo value swing. Out of Crick there. Excellent and, value. Uh, and he can use that to... So losing uh, some interesting operations, this, but this nothing... This is a big deal. This is a big deal. This is game. Um, well, I mean... Right, next turn Terrence will have four credits, and then right. the turn, uh, yeah, uh, provided, of course, that this isn't dealt with. He's going to just opportunely check top of R&D. Uh, he steals a oh. Philotic Entanglement. Oh, wow. So we don't have the turntable down. Though. Yeah, we don't have the turntable down, unfortunately. Yeah, he didn't, he, would, he f chose to forego installing it on his first time through his deck. Uh, as a result, uh, rather than be able to steal so the Nisei counter. going to check it. Yeah, if he hits the Nisei, he wins. Nope. We've got ourselves a game here. This ladies is uh, and gentlemen. quite good. We've got here Luke deciding what cards to to throw out. He's gonna choose to keep. Uh, I've had worse, which of course makes a lot of sense. And it looks like a sure gamble. That's right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, not bad. Uh, this brain damage is real because he is not able to really uh, keep the cards in hand he needs for an explosive start next turn. As a result, Terence can kind of faff about here. He's going to double advance. He's going to wow. pass the turn over. And so at here this we point, are down to the wire. yeah, this Luke is, is point. this is Luke's game to win here. Well. So I'm assuming he starts off with uh, so zero, zero IHW. Yeah. Oh lord. So so here we he go. Draws drawing five. five. And he draws, and he draws another, another copy. Iron okay. Iron so he actually might so be able to do this. So that means the window to in fact steal the Oba is there. Yeah. But let's not forget, yeah. we've got two Nisei counters. Yeah. So for sure. whatever but he has to blow through the server twice. Uh, yeah. Thrice. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yes. Uh. So so this isn't something that he can achieve given his credit pool right now. This might be just good game. If he had two stim hacks. Oh, R&D. Oh, yes, so that's true. That's true. Um, he may, in fact, give up on, on the remote, right? Yeah. Like, I mean, why do that? So, so, so we've seen click one. Yeah, we've seen click one. It was a zero, discarding I've had worse, which allowed him to draw five. He's got a nice full grip. Oh, he is, is, going is he going for it? No, no he's motioning. He's, he's, yeah, he's uh, he knows, gesticulating, knowing he knows that he doesn't have he the money for it. it. Yeah. The play then becomes a kind of all in on the R and D. Yeah, which is nothing, nothing. Uh, and then Terrence. Uh, yeah. Cortex lock. Nothing. Oh, so he has another MT. What is this? Res is a size. This matters. A lot. It's Thimble. Thimble Rig. He pays three for it. He ends the run. Very ends nice. The run. Oh, okay. Uh, now Luke has to hit the Maryland or lose next turn. How much money does Luke have? Uh, one credit? <laughs> wow, this is down to the wire. Yeah. And the brilliant Maryland campaign just ticking down there. Yeah, exactly. Here, yeah, This is click three now. Luke's considering what to do. Uh, his first foray into R&D was less than fruitful because of the special ability of Mti Makundu uh, installing a thimble rig inside the innermost of R&D, uh, taxing Luke 3 every time. Uh, Luke paid the 3 to get in, but of course Terence burned the Nisei counter. Terence has one Nisei counter, Luke has two clicks left. Terence does not currently have the money he needs to score that Obokata protocol on the board, um, but if Marilyn is left unchecked, then he will. Very interesting game. Gee. Yeah, this is and right at the wire. not to mention the brain. Oh, man, that brain has been of <laughs> true consideration here. Luke actually drew kind of the nuts there. With, uh, I've had worse since I've had worse. Giving him enough material in hand to be able to steal the Obakata, but not enough cred credits on board. And there it is. And there it is. And that's game. Yeah. Brilliant game. Wow. Yeah, very, very well played by uh, two competitors. Luke taking a very respectable third place here. Terrence moving on to the uh, grand finals. He's going to be fighting from the lower bracket here against Dean. We already saw them on stream earlier. This is the run back. Terrence has to win two in a row in order to claim the title of Toronto Regionals champion for and himself. two old friends. Uh, these, these players will be very familiar with each other's style of play. For sure. Each other's personalities. For sure. It's going to be a great final.